but stream in Thai World 05, probably. <laughs> Have to do the entire attack on India and Russia again. Uh, and because India is the um, high strength player in the field, I can't just rush them. If if I could just rush them, then like I could get rid of the war elephants as a as an issue. But because I can't, wait, wait, I should have played cards. I think. I think I played cards last time. I think it was kind of important that I did. Let me just go reload that real quick. Once it actually loads to begin with. Uh, there we go. Alright. Sorry about that. I just totally forgot. Alright. Uh, last time we played, I think, Japanese and that. And the Japanese one especially is really important. I'm just wondering if I should play the Mongols card. Real quick, I might just double check what that gives me. Mounted units are 10% cheaper and 20% faster in production. Hmm. I mean, given that I'm spamming stuff, maybe that's useful. If I can make everything 10% or all the mounted units 10% cheaper. Uh, I was a minor food bonus. Mm. The thing is, I was just wondering if I should instead, instead of what I did last time, I was wondering if I should do more infantry than, than cav. Like, I could do four barracks, two stables or something. And, uh... That would, uh, and sorry, do a despotism on top of that, which would be cheaper than doing cav. But if I play the Mongols card, then I could just do a 3 3. I could even amass resources and then, uh, then do a 4 4, but I think a sustainable production is probably better. Um, if I play the Mongols card, it sort of favors Republic, relatively. I don't know if it favors Republic absolutely, though, because the cheaper the units are, the more benefit there is from having a higher production cap, which the um the Republic gives. The, the counterpoint is that the despot, not the government, but the unit, like the patriot, gives you um, plunder for killing units in his radius, so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the best situation for this. I think I will play the Mongols card, just to make it a, a tiny bit easier. Um... I just need to quickly think about which cover type is, is better. Because once I'm in game, it's probably going to be pretty hectic for the per the first half an hour. I might not have time to carefully consider it. And for anyone who watched the previous attempt where I got this close, this close to finishing it successfully, uh, a, a little advantage can go a long way. I just plunder calculated, I don't remember. Um
15 of the resource the nation currently has the least of, except for knowledge. Is what the despot gives. Um, that sounds pretty good actually. Because the games typically have like a thousand units killed. I'd get 15,000 resource, which is not actually as much as you might think when you start using infinite queue, but it's not bad. I think I might try and go despotism if I can get away with it. Uh, Senator armor bonus might be needed though, just because it's a 2v1 and the Indians have this massive advantage. But we'll see how it goes. So I'll consider... In a strange twist, I'm going to consider despotism to be the greedy option. And I'm going to consider Senator to be, well, Republic to be the, like, safe play, as opposed to the greedy play. Just need to make sure I can, like, survive. Because if I go um, Despotism and then I just die, it kind of, you know, it ruins the point. <laughs> Mm, I should research that here. Oh well. I would have got another 25 from the Rowan. It's a little laggy. Hang on. Okay, I have no idea why that would be the case. I don't really have anything going on. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. I had a lot of stuff open, like a while ago though, while I was <laughs> having to do some illegal stuff. Kinda complicated, at least for me. I had a, like a lot of stuff just open to consult. Hmm, I kinda want science. They're attacking. Never mind about the science. Well, sorry, never mind about whatever I was about to do. I can't remember anymore. What are they? Oh, my explorer. I'm gonna say, well, I'm not sure what they were hitting, but yeah, that makes sense. I don't think I'm gonna finish it. Oh, if they hit the city, I'm fine. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Uh, well. Oh, I just barely died. That's annoying. Sick three guys inside, so it starts firing back. I'm thinking of getting another city while it's being sieged. Alright, let's just max it. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Stitch the supply wagon. Except that didn't research attrition, so it didn't matter. <laughs> kind of weird. No, oh, I'll take it. Didn't lose too much. Uh, right now, I'm just like. 
that was really loud, considering it was off screen. Um, splitting the camps a little bit just so I can like put down a waypoint there, spam citizens, and like they'll figure themselves out. Shooting explorer. Wait, so the keep does 25% more damage with armor. That actually means it does like maybe double damage against some targets, which is interesting. I got two people on farms, and two can try to push out. Maybe if we can get the um, the Russians before they've like gotten too big, that might be good. Uh, I won't temple this because it's not going to matter in a second. Where's my market? Uh, well, I'm waiting on that. Let's research that to get the border. Timber, metal, knowledge, I forgot to scar. No, I, I did, okay. Oh, heal up. Excellent. Why are you shooting, my dude? That's quite rude. Oh, nice. Archers counter this guy. Weak versus archers, there you go. Interesting. Doesn't really come up very much because no one really uses that. I don't want to build that. I want to build here. Uh, could use some more people here. And we're still short of farm as well. I'll put capital here, I think. Go to library while I'm at it. You know, that's not important. Especially when those guys at our doorstep. <laughs> Just hop inside. Mm. Alright, we're gonna need a um barracks. If I can get rid of some of the cav, that would be good. Might just focus fire some of the uh, back line. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll try and go despotism. Wait, the supply wagon is in range, holy shit. Hmm, need more scholars. Yeah, if we can grab the despot for the supply, that would be really good actually. Hmm, 
don't think the siege is going to take much damage. Yeah, that's almost nothing. But it's also the only threat, so I guess I can afford to hit it. Uh, another caravan. Two more caravans, because I want to get a new city soon. Just, uh, I don't know. Build the market. Give me some wealth. Right, pop out some of the range guys. Pop them back in because they nearly died. <laughs> So why not? Actually, let's not do that. Just the Pac-Man will be fine. They need to be economical. Can I siege off of that? I'm hoping the answer is yes. Hmm, no, let's try and get military first. Some of these guys need to heal up pretty badly. That will do. Fuck. The elephants have arrived. And this guy's a little bit smarter in regards to where he's putting his shit. Ah, oh, I don't have a scout. Fuck me. Let's just upgrade. Those upgrades will buy us some time once they go through. So they're gonna try and... They successfully capped it? Really? Those wall elephants must count for a fucking shit ton. No, oh, plus they're shitting. Crossbows. There we go. I want them to go for the uh, city. Okay, well, this is bad. This guy built cav and uh, light infantry, so I built more heavy infantry. And then the other guy built a lot of crossbows. I don't think I I don't think I can easily do this. It's not impossible. Like I've shown that I can lose my forward city and still win the game, but uh, we're going to count that as a fail, and I'm going to try again. That's pretty shit. I built the correct counter unit and the other guy counted me, and I don't think the AI is doing that intentionally because it's not that